U.S. military and intelligence officials says Pakistan's nuclear arsenal is vastly superior to that of rival India, with up to five times the nuclear warheads. U.S. military and intelligence officials now reassessing the South Asian balance of power. Interviews with senior U.S. officials in the past week revealed the view that Pakistan not only has more warheads than its longtime adversary, but has far more capability to actually use them. Nuclear weapons tests by India and Pakistan in May 1998 caught American intelligence off guard. While U.S. agencies long had known about weapons development research in both countries, the decision by both to go public with their capabilities shocked policymakers. Since then, U.S. intelligence and diplomacy has focused on South Asia with a new intensity. Until recently, for instance, Pakistan was considered to have somewhere between 10 and 15 nuclear weapons and India between 25 and 100. But after two years of intelligence gathering, officials now believe those figures overstate the capabilities of India's homegrown arsenal and understate those of Pakistan. One official said the Pakistanis are more likely to have those numbers 25 to 100 weapons than the Indians. Perhaps most important, the official said is that Pakistan appears far more capable than India of delivering nuclear payloads. He said speaking particularly of ballistic missiles, I don't think the Indian program is as advanced as the PAC's. Marine Corps General Anthony Zinni, commander of the U.S. Central Command, said long-time assumptions that India had an edge in the South Asian strategic balance of power were questionable. A recent Defense Department analysis of the Indian program states they both have a capability, but Pakistan's far more better than India's, with more weapons and more capability. India understands that it is behind. U.S. officials believe that India probably has a handful of nuclear bombs, meaning about five, with regard to delivery systems, the missiles and bombers needed to launch a nuclear strike. Officials now believe Indian capabilities to be seriously lagging. According to the Defense Department document, India has no nuclear-capable missiles and fewer aircraft capable of delivering a nuclear payload than Pakistan does. India has twice tested a new intermediate-range missile, the Agni, which may eventually provide the basis of a nuclear missile force. However, current U.S. analysis suggests the Agni will not be fielded with nuclear warheads for another 10 years. Additionally, India appears to only have begun work on missile warhead design and on the miniaturization of weapons, two critical hurdles to the actual use of weapons. Pakistan, on the other hand, has been greatly upgraded. A U.S. official stated that Pakistani air and missile delivery systems are now believed to be fully capable of a nuclear exchange if something happens. Other officials noted that Pakistan's air force, with its U.S. F-16S and its French Mirage fighter bombers, are superior at penetrating enemy airspace than India's Soviet-designed MiGs and Sukhois. Most importantly, Pakistan is now thought to possess many advanced nuclear-capable missiles. These growing nuclear arsenals has become a major cause for concern among U.S. policymakers, who even before the 1998 tests had deemed South Asia the most likely site of a nuclear war. According to an analysis done by the U.S. Air Force, more than 150 million Indians and Pakistanis could perish in an all-out nuclear exchange, three times the total number of people who died in World War II.